Click, click. Hello everyone, this is Take from BigEdTaco.com and I'm coming to you here from the, a new cool coffee shop in Gastown, The Birds and the Beats, uh, run by Matt and his team. So thank you so much, Matt, for allowing us to shoot here. But uh, I'm gonna start a new series. I'm gonna call it, What's in Your Bag? So you've already seen what's in my bag. Today I have a very special guest. I don't know where he is. He should be here soon. If not, I think I'm gonna have to do uh, what's in my bag again. Oh, but I sure West uh, hope that my guest will come soon. Sorry, I'm late? No, you are exactly on time. Just like my pictures, right on time. Just, just like your pictures. So everyone, John, uh, there's your, your microphone there. So as you get ready, uh, John Lehman of the Globe and Mail, You've seen him before on my previous uh, YouTube video. And I thought it would be fun to invite John. Uh, I'm gonna put my bag down now because nobody wants to see what's in my my bag. People Did wanna... we already see what was in your bag? Yes, yes. Have you seen the video though? Yeah. Oh, excellent. What did you think? It was good. Really? Good. I think Maybe yours is- time for a new bag though. I think so. I think yours is gonna be gooder. Uh, John, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. Um, did you just come from doing something phantasmal? Were you shooting? A meeting, a planning meeting. Uh, you're, really? Yeah. That sounds very exciting. Yeah, well, half of, uh, half of photography is about planning, you know? Really? Planning and timing and good luck. Really? Yeah. I, got, I must be a bad photographer <laughs> then, because I don't plan very much. I, but I did plan to have you on the show, so thank you so much. Um, a lot of great comments on our last video when we did the yeah. Leica shootout. Yeah. Everyone seems to love you. <laughs> so that's... Uh, well, I, was, well, that's I thought that the comments were very generous. That was very nice. That too. was. So yeah. thank you so much for your generous comments. And one of the things is people wanted to know more about you and what you do, but I thought the best way to know about a man is to see what's in a man's bag. <laughs> so this is going to be my series of what's in your bag, okay. which from your perspective is what's in my bag. So yeah. let's, um, before start, before we dig into your bag, yeah. where where are your bags? They're right here on the you're, floor. You're so big, okay, okay. So before we do that, before we do that, yeah. where have you, okay, so the last time we spoke in, in Ga actually we're still in Gastown, yes, sir. but last time we spoke well, over there, yeah. um, you were sh ready to shoot polar bears. Yeah, so I've had a really busy couple of months. I've been shooting, I was out shooting some uh, polar bears, yeah. some grizzly bears, black yeah. bears. Yes. Spent some time with a uh, Japanese tsunami survivor uh, being reunited with his uh, fishing boat, which was up the coast uh, in BC. Well, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. yeah. One piece, it made its way across. 7,000 kilometers yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. from his home in Japan. His boat floated across the ocean and ended up uh, near a, a pretty well-known uh, bear viewing lodge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then um, there was some sponsorship uh, that organized uh, he and his wife to come over and oh, see, wow. the, see the boat do some fishing, yeah. and uh, do some grizzly bear viewing. So it was Excellent. a really emotional reunion for the fishing. What, the boat had actually been his father's. Oh, really? So what did you use to shoot that? Uh, it was mostly, I well, I used my, my D4S's, and so 24 and a, a 50, and a whole bunch of things, a 16 yeah. to 24. But you didn't, you, didn't use an eight, you didn't use your 80 to 200 to 8, though? No, it's pretty hard when you're in the same boat to use Of, of course, you'd be taking a picture of his ear or yeah. it's just like his pupil. Actually, no, I pretty much used everything. Yeah, no, yeah. I did use a 70 to 200, yeah. And yeah. what other, what others? Okay, so after that, what did you do? Uh, well, going, actually going back in time, I oh, okay. uh, went, uh, spent some time in July with um, uh, revisiting the Hurricane Katrina. Oh, uh, okay. site, the flooding that happened after the, the hurricane. Okay. And what else? I went up to Site C, northern BC, where there's a controversial dam being planned. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've had a very busy summer actually. Yeah. 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 And you and you were able to fit in a family vacation. Yeah. Too. Yeah. We spent a couple of days in Hong Kong, and then we uh, traveled to Phuket. Yeah, Phuket. Enjoyed the warm weather. Phuket there. is in Thailand. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Very yeah. good. So. Wow, man alive! That's a busy. That's a busy month. That was two months. Yeah, just two months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. so now that we know that, yeah. we want to now know, uh, other than what's in your suitcase, that's yeah. a different episode, different yeah. type of show. Yeah. Let's see what's in your bag. Yeah. So this is uh, these are these are this is my everyday carry bag. Or okay. I guess the acronym is EDC. Your, your EDC exactly. Yeah. So when I wake up in the morning and I get ready to go to work, this is what I grab from okay. my home office. Uh, so this this has everything I need for a typical day uh, of so you, shooting. So you carry both of these bags for 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 when you're working. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't necessarily take everything into the assignment, but yeah, this yeah, is yeah. what I need 
just to sort of get through the day, depending okay. on what I'm doing. It's the color theme here, isn't there? Yeah, well, these are these are these are great. Look, look, I mean, look at the colors here. <laughs> I mean, there's a what's what's the number one rule about your camera bags? Is you don't want this too red, too flashy, no, too fancy. It sort right? of blends in. It looks like uh, you know, it doesn't look like a camera bag really. What's kind of I like that. It's very nice actually. I like this yeah. one. So you want you want to start with one some bag? Water protection too. Oh yeah, this is like a waxed canvas, yeah. right? So you want to start with one, and then yeah. we'll get to the other one. So, so this is uh, this is you know I carry uh, this has got my laptop in it. What brand of bag? People always want to know what. It's a Filson. Filson? Yeah. Filson bag. Filson. It's an American company. Okay. They make lots of outdoor sort of stuff. Okay. Yeah. And, and I think before we move on, we're gonna just say that uh, no one sponsored you, oh, you no. to do any of these. These are Bought literally this my this, own money. Your own money. <laughs> this is for the cameras, like long ago gold mail. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, I mean, this is what you like yeah. to use. It's not because someone told you to use no. it, right? No. So very good. So Filson bag. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll start with my computer stuff. So this is a power cord and. Um, USB three reader. Yeah, I like, you know, I like to keep things really small and compact and organized. Are you really yeah. this organized? Or is I am. Show? No, I really am. Are you sure? I I'm kind of anal about it. Actually. Are you really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah so yeah. it is nice to have these yeah. in little mini packs, yeah. right? These, and this is a, a think tank, maybe. Oh no, it's a Gura Gear uh, little bag. Okay, I'm gonna look in here for, for a okay, second. Sure. Oh, you can keep on digging out though. Okay. Oh sure. yeah, man, you're really organized. Yeah. The little Velcro thingies yeah. and stuff. Wow. All right. Yeah. I got something to learn from you. <laughs> Uh, this is, I don't shoot a lot of video, but sometimes I gotta shoot a little bit of video. And when I do, I sort of use my iPhone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got some, um, you know, earpiece to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a little stand for my iPhone. Oh, wow. Can I, let, look at yeah. that for a second. I, ha I thought I had a small tripod. Man, alive. This is. So you use these, you put this on here. You put the phone in and like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, what, what brand is this? What is this? This, this is, is um, Joby. Yeah. Joby. Joby. Oh, very good. Almost yeah. like a ball. Is it a ball head? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's really clever. I, think I, I bought it. At, you can buy. I bought this at London Drugs. So London like Drugs. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. H. By the way. A little. Uh, this is specifically designed for the iPhone, so that you can uh, get get audio. Oh, your lav mic. It's a little iPhone. lav mic for an iPhone. Those aren't cheap. I don't know. Those are, are they? nice. Are they? Okay. But you need to get one that's specifically designed for the iPhone. Of course. So that it cuts off the. Um, the uh, input for the sound. And, and it's, the, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's stereo, it's not mono either. That's right, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, you, want, you, need to cut out the, you need to cut off the output. Yeah. Do you do the video for work though? Like you're talking about, do you sometimes need to, do you use it a as like a- A little bit, yeah. yeah. I, it's, uh, you know, it obviously interferes with my photography, but sometimes it's an evil necessity. Okay, so this is your video kit. Yeah. Man, this is small. Yeah. But yeah. you use your iPhone as, yeah. uh, as the thing. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. So video, yeah. excellent. Um, and this is my little go bag. Uh, sometimes I gotta leave town really quick, so this is just some stuff for the for the plane. Oh, that's cute! Look uh, at your eye patch. Oh, uh, look at that! It looks like a spa thing. Yeah. Advil. Advil. Yeah. Tums. Tums. Earplugs. Earplugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wipes. And wipes. Yeah. Those I four got things will get you out of any situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to look at your eye patch for a second, though. Look at this is fancy. This is. Oh, look at that. It's soft and nice. And I think it was free on some airline. Was it really? Yeah. Kit. All right, very good. So eye patch. So that's kind of like you, you yeah. carry on. Where's your toothbrush? Uh, oh, right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, toothbrush there. Okay, very good. Very good. Yeah, because obviously you check in everything else. You carry yeah. on. You the make only thing sure I really you... check in is my clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you don't want you don't want to check in this stuff. No, 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 no. Yeah. Thirteen inch MacBook Air. MacBook Air, but it says. Oh, look at that. You put the Leica sticker. sticker. And you have like the little... Um... Yeah, I bought this on uh, Amazon for like $11. Mm, excellent. You go to the Apple store and buy one for 99 or you go to Amazon and buy it for $11. Amazon. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Yeah, I have the 11-inch. Man, this feels so much bigger. Yeah. I'm it's... getting old. You know, I need glasses. To see no, no, but you know, the 11-inch doesn't have an SD card. Where's no, your SD card? No, yeah, that's plug? what is really nice. The, yeah. the SD card. There you card. go. Yeah, yeah, the 11-inch doesn't... That was the other reason I got it. Yeah. The SD card slot. But it's not too bad, though. Yeah. No, it's still much heavier than my 11. Yeah. It's only a half a pound heavier. Yeah, but you to you, half a pound's nothing. <laughs> For me, it's like my arm. Uh, should we shove this stuff back in? Sure, yeah, yeah. No, 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 let's leave it all oh, out. Okay. We'll put it over here. Uh, oh, and then an uh, iPad. Which makes it as a good backup for your iPhone. It's got a problem with your iPhone. You can't make phone calls, but you still have your email. It's GPS, just your it's just a wi it's your Wi-Fi iPad. Yeah. You don't have uh, data with that. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. The data one's better because it has a GPS chip on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what other things do you use that for? In case of backup. Oh, uh, or... reading the paper, reading. Oh, I do I see, a lot of reading on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, and then the, you know most of the, these cameras Ooh, spend most of their time. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Out this, of this, the is a, bag. this is a chocolate right in here. 
three bodies. Yeah. It's like the old film days. You had black and white color and slide. Do you, do you have to carry three or do you like to? Uh, I, well, my main go-to cameras are the, these two uh, D4Ss. You didn't bring that the last time we went shooting. Not the D4S. Wow, look at this. Now, the, the, this motor drive power thing, this is built in. So yeah. pardon my ignorance when it comes to DSLR, all you DSLR fans, but this is humongous. Now, why do you like the D4S over, oh, we got That's two of them. Yeah. Yeah. So this, what's the megapixel count on the D4S? 16. 16. So but the high dynamic range is really good, and the low light sensitivity is amazing. Exactly. So yeah. some people are like, there's some smartphones that have 20 megapixel, but oh. it's not always about the megapixels. No, it's it? the size of the sensor. This is a full yeah. frame DSLR. Yeah. And so with it, I have a better dynamic range. I get yes. much better low light sensitivity. So what, what ISO and can you shoot safely at? 50,000? You don't blink? I have no problem with going to 6400. 64, yeah, but I think you can go even much higher than that. Yeah, you, you can, but I, I, it's not very often I have to go above 6400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, I would say almost never, especially with a fast prime like this, a 24 one, uh, 4. 24 f1.4. And, and, and this is a 58 uh, 1.4. Wow, so you got two yeah. 1.4, uh, what do they call their Pro Series? G? I guess, what does G stand ED. for? ED. I don't know. I, I don't know. But they're these, very good, they're very sharp. But these are your, these are your work. Uh, yeah, these are my go-to. Yeah. Go those, these like seventy percent of my work is done with these two with lenses these two, and these yeah. two cameras. Yeah. Very good, excellent. Yeah. And then, and then I also have a uh, this. I think this is a wonderful camera. It's a D seven fifty. That's what we really, played yeah, with the last I think time. it's really underrated. It's a full but it's frame. It's got a great tilty flippy uh, articulating screen. Yes. Yeah. And it's twenty four megapixels. This one doesn't. No. Okay. This is my, a lot more durable. Yes, you, know, you can This is what you're around. taking to the Olympics and you're using for 14 hours a day yeah, 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 yeah. in the rain if you need to, yeah. uh, you know. But this has got built-in Wi-Fi, whereas this one needs an attachment for an external Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, it's got the screen, it's got really good uh, low light. That's well. also, that's now that's full frame as well? Yes, it is. Um, FX is the full yeah. frame. Yeah, so it is more consumer friendly, but it's still takes high end. I would pictures. say this is a this is a high end consumer camera. Yeah, and what's the megapixel count on this? Twenty four. Twenty four. So yeah. so again, for some that don't understand how megapixels work, mm -hmm. they might think, oh this is why is this probably twice the price, twice the size. Well, and yet a, it's this, only sixteen, this is twenty four. Well this body is a lot more durable. Yes. And its capability in terms of you know of taking multiple shots in continuous sequence is much greater. Yeah. And it has a lot more um, professional functions on the back. And you could probably shoot, I mean, this here looks like this is like a battery. Yeah, that, that, lasts, wow. that will last me a week easily. Really? Yeah. This is a 2,500 milliamp hours, wow. 27 yeah, watt this hours. One's, this one's pretty small. This is know. a, I mean, look at the, the battery size. Wow, look at that. So definitely, so you're on a boat, there's no way of charging <laughs> your batteries. This is what you want, right? Yeah. And can we, can we sneak a peek at uh, what cards do you use? Oh, so I have uh, CF cards in here. Oh, so you, you use the, now see, yeah. oh, see, still the older tech, because there is the, the new cards now. They're not called CF, they're called fast cards. There's a new format, but this, these are still using the older CF cards. You mean that, this one here, the Sony, the Sony ones? No, it's not a oh, Sony, it's okay. something else. Right. And, and these, this takes uh, two SD cards. Okay, and this one you prefer to, oh, this does not take the, C, the CF cards. No. Okay, and what, what CF card do you have in there? SD, SD. SD. I usually have oh, a 16 and a 32. I'm 16, missing 32, my 32. And this one here, so what was it, what was in here again? I can't remember. That's a 32. Uh, 32. That's in, so I got a 32 gig SD card, S, CF card in CF here. CF card, yes. Which will easily last me all day. So yes. I don't have to change cards. Yeah, yeah, I can shoot all day and then um, at the end of the day, just download my images and deal but with you, one card. But you do have backup cards as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I also have um, a 16 to 24 in here as well. Whoa, Which is a that. pretty specialized lens. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, I do like to have it with me. This is this is like as heavy as <laughs> as Leica with a lens and a flash, and this yeah. is so big that you can't actually you can't attach filters to this. No. You can't. Yeah. No. And you use? Did you use this on the? There's a picture of the the boat yeah. where you're on the boat. This yeah, is where you would use something like this. Yes. Very good. I mean, it's a great. I guess it's a great landscape lens. I don't do a lot of landscape photography, but yeah. if you're in really tight situations, it's great. It's also really good for like a remote camera. So sometimes the Olympics or sporting events, you can put a remote camera in places, and 
So when you're using a remote camera, you don't really sure where the action's going to be. Oh, so it's okay. great to be able to use it a, a really wide, like a yeah, 14, yeah, 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 yeah. and be able to capture everything that's going on. Excellent. But say you want to do the overview of a stadium when it's having fireworks. You yes, know, the yes. opening and closing ceremony. This is kind of what you would use as well, right? Because for as a as a as a photojournalist, sometimes you are in the press box and you cannot yeah. step 10 feet back or move 10 feet yeah, forward, right? It can be pretty, so it's uh, good to be set like that. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Oh, very good. So actually we could probably put this back okay. because I think the next, okay, so this is pretty much when you're shooting for the Golden Mail, when you're working. Yeah. If we weren't talking now, this is still what you'd be carrying right now. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Actually, are you kind of working? Are you on payroll right now? No? Yeah. Are you really? I got two assignments this afternoon. Okay, very good. But we're promoting you and the Golden yeah, Mail fine. as well, right? So this yeah. is fine. Excellent. So very good. That's uh, wow. You got you could fit a lot in that I backpack. Know, it's great. I mean, there's a little bit of padding, but it's not over padded. You know, I, I don't need a lot of padding. I should have brought my weight, my luggage weighing thing to see how much. Oh, weight, I can tell you, it's uh, 26, 27 pounds. That's the carry-on limit. Mm, yeah, it's a little bit over. So Is both really? these bags. And have you ever been caught? Uh, yes. Have many you? Times. And they, you have to pay the other overage, or? Well, you can't. You're not supposed to bring something on this heavy. Really? Yeah. So I just I call the manager and I beg and plead. And, Call it, and then you just show flash him, him your press. And I'm like, pass. do you really want to check this and break it and be responsible for it? He's like, okay. Okay, so this bag here, let's let's stand so it up. So this is here what first. I would carry into an assignment. Okay, yeah. this is a beautiful bag. Yeah. What sorry, what was the brand of this one? Filson. They're both Filson. Oh, they're yeah. both Filson. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, it's wax like a tin canvas. cloth. It's waterproof. Wow. Water I guess. This is very nice. This reminds me a little bit of the Billingham, but less yeah. pretentious. Yes. Because it's not cheaper British. Too, I think. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. So let's. And let's there's actually a place where you can get um, uh, discounted ones that are not properly manufactured, just south uh, near in, this, in Washington State. Oh, like um, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, like a, just, like a. Yeah, there's like a slight defect in it yeah, cosmetically, but yeah, but yeah. the bag is structurally sound. Yeah, yeah. This is the. Look at that. It's the Magnum. It's a Magnum version. <laughs> yeah, so I like it. I yeah. like it. Very good. You okay, can so take any one of their bags and just make it your own bag with an insert. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So let's see what's okay, in so here. This is, so with the two cameras. Yeah. And well, three then, cameras. Well, I would only use oh, okay. two. The third okay. one's a spare. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is my 70, 70 to 200. Oh, man. 2.8. Yeah. You're missing your lens cap. I don't use lens caps. Or the hood. What do you call it? The... I don't use it. Really? You just put it straight down? Lens hood? Yeah. Not the hood. Oh, okay. You mean that? No, the, the, the cap. Where's the cap? I don't use caps. They just get in the way. You just lose them. He doesn't use cap. Actually, you know what? That's funny. I don't, I don't, I leave them at home too. You're yeah. right. But don't listen to us, okay? <laughs> just, you should probably use it to, to save your cap. All right, so this is your 7200. Yeah. All right. Uh, so 8514. 851. Oh, this is, oh, you still have it taped up from the, the fire. Yeah. All right, 8514. Yeah. This actually feels a lot lighter than the other ones. Yeah. This one here, 8514, okay. Uh, 1.4 converter. And what do you use this on this one often? Yeah, yeah. To get a little bit more of a, like to you get, get a little it to 300, closer. Yeah. right? Yeah. And you lose a 1.4. So, so, so then it would be a 300 F4. 300 F4, you lose a stop. It'll stop, yeah. Exactly. And then I also have a, a, a doubler. So it becomes cool. a 400 5.6. 456. And when was the last time you used that? Uh, there was a port fire a couple months ago. No, okay. the big port fire. Where, in what city? Vancouver. Was, was it like Squamish? No, way here. Port fire. Oh, that big port that fire. One. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So I was sort of caught off with not having a longer lens, so I used the doubler in the, four, in the 200. Mm -hmm. It gave me a 4056. Okay. Which Very got good. me close enough into the action. You know. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Um, so this bag, I don't keep a lot in here because I, you know, it weighs down my shoulder, but. I, you know, I've got some extra batteries. Oh, man. Yeah. So yeah. For your D4S's. D4S's yeah. yeah. Excellent. Man, you got like 20,000 milliamp hours worth of uh, battery. And this is from your, this is for the, the D750. 750. Yeah. Very good. Much smaller, much lighter. 1900, 14 watt hours. Okay. Uh, I got a, a moleskin with some pens and business cards. Oh, I've never seen this yeah. little thing attached. That's smart. Yeah. And this is your official moleskin pen. Yeah, pencil. Pens pencil. pencil. Yeah. Very good. This is this is sexy. Yeah. I need to replace mine soon, so. I sometimes like to sketch out some of the photo shoots I. You plan things out. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, obviously news I don't plan, but if I'm doing a portrait or something, sometimes yeah. I'll sketch out you know, some ideas. The problem with the moleskin I find is though, it's a bit hard. I find like, I like it in my back pocket, yeah. and I find that the thing cuts into me a little bit, but mm. yeah. Oh, this is empty. 
Oh yeah, the, the book's brand new. It's empty. I got a new one just. You for don't this. plan like me. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, and then I've got a, a little uh, a little tripod. A bigger size tripod. Yeah, for my camera, obviously. That's a Manfrotto. Brembo. Yeah, if you want to do like a time delay picture or something. There we go. Or if you want to stick on this. Uh, 42 LCD, made in Italy. Nice. And uh, sometimes I use this little light just to light people's faces. Uh, this is an LED. Oh, this is actually yeah. kind of cool. I like this. Yeah. It's actually designed for GoPro. Oh, really? Yeah. And then, okay, so you not for video then, you're using this no, for stills? No, I don't use it for video, though. just for stills. Okay. You can also stick it in the, I mean, the D4S is so good at low light, sometimes I just put this into the, into the uh, hot shoe, and I'll just oh. uh, photograph in a bit. Oh, because it has the hot shoe. Yeah. Oh, very good. Does it yeah. actually fit on the hot shoe? It's actually taking some pictures of uh, Justin Trudeau making his way through the crowd, uh, and I just stuck that on the, under the camera just to fill in the face a little bit. How do you bit. turn this off? Oh? Oh. Yes, the button on the top. Yeah. So this fits in a standard hot shoe. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Very cool and yet very nerdy. I like it. But you teased me for using this flash and then you have this even geekier flash. Yeah. Well, it's good. It's also good in all light situations for folks. Here. And that's it? That's, that's it. it. That's this, it. So this carries way less stuff. Yeah, well, this is what I'm, I'm putting, actually putting on my shoulder on an assignment, so I don't want it to too heavy. I just have exactly what I need. And you would put in here basically what you want to quickly swap in and out yeah. because a backpack is a little bit inconvenient. Yeah, I'm right? not, I don't carry a backpack into an assignment. So when you're shooting, um, the two D4Ss are out? Yes. Oh. Just about. Did it. you just drop? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I was thinking it was the 80 to 200 to 8. Yeah. Although that would create a crater on, in the <laughs> hardware <laughs> floors, wouldn't it? Yeah. Very good. So those are the two. You have this on your shoulder, that's on your back, yeah. and you're ready to rock. Yeah. I like it. I mean, you know, I just I just keep the D4Ss in there for like just for just easy storage. You know, mm -hmm. it's not they don't live in there. On this my little CF card holder. I bought this in Hong Kong like years ago. But yeah, just two extra CF cards. Two, and they're both 32s. Oh, these are 16s. Yeah, they're, those are old. 16s are. I mean, I shoot with 16s, but I'm finding now that when you shoot full frame, mm -hmm. 16s don't last very long. You have to take less pictures. I have to take less pictures. Yeah, concentrate more on the content. Content. More on content, less on volume. Yes. Very good. But you know, when reviewing, sometimes you're just you're testing out different apertures, and mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Well, I'll try your new philosophy. I'll stick with my 16s. <laughs> now I'm ordering two 32s. Shoot 32s, guys. Um, I actually I know another professional that likes to shoot. Mm -hmm. He does studio work, and he likes mm -hmm. to shoot with 32s, but he doesn't like the 64s. Like those 32, or the those 32 gig cards in my D4s's. I think that's like over a thousand images. Yeah, but that's a 16 megapixel, so you are getting. And do you shoot raw or do you shoot the JPEG? I shoot raw. Everything you shoot raw. Raw, raw. raw have, only, no JPEG. No JPEGs. So when you import them, there is no JPEGs to throw out. No. Right? No. And you. And so, sorry, a little bit of your workflow. Yeah. What? Okay, so once you finish shooting, then how do you. From there, what do you do? You finish shooting, uh, you, you take it out your. It depends how quickly things are needed. So if it, Let's see right now. I would sit down here at this coffee shop, yep. I'd open my laptop. Yeah. I'd ingest the card and I would do a quick edit. And how, how would you do that? Do you use a cable or do you have a card reader? Yeah, attached? I would attach the card reader yeah. and put in the CF card and I would ingest those images into my laptop. Yeah, and what app do you use for, to do that? I use Photo Mechanic. Photo Mechanic. Yeah, to, to ingest and edit, like to review the pictures yes. and to get my selects. Yes. And they have a color system, which is pretty good for your selection. And then I would get my two or three images and I would bring those into Photoshop, into the raw converter. Yeah. And I would, uh, you know, tone those color, you know, color correct and exposure correct. I would save those files, cap and then to back into uh, into Photo Mechanic. Yeah. I would caption them with the IPTC information within okay. Photo Mechanic, and then I would FTP them from within Photo Mechanic to, to the office. To the Photo office, yeah. yeah. And this is the workflow that that the Global Mail expects of you. Or you've created this workflow. I've for yourself? I've created my workflow myself. Excellent. But this, you know, it's a pretty standard, standard workflow for most people in the industry. Most uh, yeah. photojournalists. Yeah. yeah. And I, you know, I, I use the raw converter, but I, I hardly ever open it up into Photoshop. Okay. I and save when, from from uh, the raw converter. And when you say Photoshop, do you mean CS6 or do you mean what's the latest one? Uh, it's I, I think Six. it's the cloud or something. It's CS I don't know. Or something. I have the latest yeah. one that's not with the monthly plan. When, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we played around before that you had Lightroom up, when do you use Lightroom? Uh, almost never. I'm really? not comfortable with it. I find it, I find it very slow and pokey. I think if you're, 
on a maybe app. let's say you're a wedding photographer and you have like a thousand images you need to fix at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good system, but for for the, it's a very slow and ingesting. It's a very slow workflow. And, but you're working and, with a MacBook Air 13 though. If you had a MacBook Pro, this is fast. Or, this is fast, fast for you. It's fast. Really? So okay, yeah. so you don't really use Lightroom. You had a video on a Mac, MacBook Pro. Or no, no, MacBook Mac, Air. I know it's a little slow though. Yeah. It's still it's. Uh, I, I do all my fast. editing in my MacBook uh, Air 11. <laughs> Let me just feel the weight. That oh man, that feels like. Um, that's not bad. That's not too bad. But the yeah. other one, can I just feel that other one over here? Very good. Okay, yeah, this is heavy. You need to yeah. put this on your back. So as a street photographer, I would probably <laughs> never have something like this on my back. But definitely, I would have a bag like this. I am in the market of either fixing my bag mm -hmm. or replacing it. So here are your two. Sorry, what was the brand name again? Filson. Filson. So these are your two work to, work bags. Yeah. And do you use these for for personal use as well? Uh, you leave these at home. It's all the same thing. Really. Is, is, it, is it really? <laughs> so you went on vacation with your family. This is what you no, brought. Grabbed one of these. No. No. Just I very. Didn't bring the bag. Okay, so we talked about what's in your bag mm -hmm. and also your vacation. Talk a little bit. What was your workflow on your vacation? So we looked at all this. Well, I would get up and I would go to the pool. Yes. And then I'd go back in and have a coffee. Yes. I'd get my kids up and then we'd go back into the pool. Okay. And then we'd have lunch. That okay. was my workflow. Okay, so, so I saw those pictures on your Instagram yeah. feed, but we're talking about photographic workflow. I didn't use any of that. Okay, what did you use? My iPhone. Yeah, all I, the, yeah, all, it's all I, on my iPhone. iPhone 6. So you have all this, and yeah. so there's there's gear nerds out there just salivating. Yeah. And when you're on vacation, you said you dragged something else with you as well. I also brought an X100T because I thought that would be a great little vacation. Yeah. It has Wi Fi. It was still too much work. It was too much work yeah. for you. Yeah. Maybe because you're surrounded by so much gear, you yeah. just need the detox, it is. It gear is. detox. Yeah. And so you enjoy shooting with your iPhone 6. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's in your pocket all the time, and it's simple and it's easy. and the, the quality is quite good. Quite good, right? Yeah. Oh, What's, you know, one other thing. People always ask me. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I hey, even, I even got an you. email about from our last video. Yeah. People yeah. want to know what the straps are I use. Oh, yeah. What are... So the, these are... Are they fancy? These are, they don't look fancy. These are made in the U.S. They're called Upstrap. Oh, yeah. Upstrap. You like the fat, thicker... Like, well, you, don't, you don't like these... These cameras, these cameras are heavy. Yeah, And yeah. it requires a, a heavier strap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so these are really... They're great because they're really pliable, yeah. but they don't slip. So, you know, we have a lot of rain here in Vancouver, yeah. and so we're, we wear a lot of this Gore-Tex clothing. Yes. And if you have a leather strap, it just it just slips right oh, off. Okay. So these these are great. They don't slip. They really cling on well. And there's there's oh. actually a Kevlar in, in here, and they won't they won't come off. So, I'm again, I am not sponsored by these companies. Yeah. Um, I've never even heard of these they're, guys. They're really good. They also make, I think they make straps for the U.S. Postal Service. Oh, really? Uh, but you can order them online. I have the uh, Upstrap SLR LT. Yes. Okay, Made in these, USA, yeah. patent pending. So, very good. Excellent. And they last for years. They're, they're expensive, but they last for a long time. You, Actually, they're not that expensive. And you bought that. This is not provided by the Globe and Mail. You, you bought this for yourself. Um, I think I expensed it. You expensed it? All right. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> you should expense a Leica, too. The Leica S. Yeah. The S2 medium format. I don't digital. think that's going to happen. It's not going to happen? No. How about uh, expensing a M monochrome? I think they'd be upset if I shot everything in black and white. Really? But you you want to use this, don't you? Oh, yeah. I'd like to try that. So, yeah, yeah we'll... We'll talk maybe about that later. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. We'll, 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 we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll see if it does that. So, thank you so much. you yeah. got to grab a camera. you got to do a click click. Which, oh. which one are you going to grab? Maybe you should grab your iPhone. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, see, it's right here. I, I, was, I was just I, kidding. I was just kidding. There, there okay. it is. So, so, John, thank you so much click, for click. coming onto the show. Yeah. Thank you for sharing what's in your bag. And uh, hopefully, we will uh, do some more little mini projects together in the future. Sure. All right. So, again, we're in Birds and the Beats in Gastown. Thank you, Matt and the team, for letting us use your space. Thank you for watching and happy shooting. You ready? Click, click.